there's the repair there's no indications of fuel so here we are we have a craftsman lawn tractor here a DLT 3000 and we want to remove the uh, fender assembly here might be various reasons why you're gonna do that but I'll show you how to do that so let's just move back here let's just get started on the basics you know normally the seats down like this I'm gonna have to lift up the seat and the first thing you want to do since you're gonna be removing this you have to remove this uh, harness here it's just a typical um, excuse me uh, pull up on the tab and pull that out there we go and then there's little uh, straps here and they actually they just come off you can just make them come off with your finger they, they have a little tab you just push and just push and it'll snap out of place they're really kind of rubberized so very easy to, to remove so this is off just set that there now in the video that I'm making one thing that I did I did some investigation I was concerned about this lever this handle here and whether or not I had to remove the whole unit or if there was some sort of alternative and hopefully this is the alternative I figured I could remove this panel off of this handle handle uh, without doing any drastic measures like you know removing the whole the whole uh, drive uh, handle assembly there and what I found I'll show you real quick here now these are three eighths get them here there's four three eighths bolts which are underneath here so it's really hard for me to film that to show you but there's one in each corner so you remove those and then what I also found if you're having trouble reaching in there this is just like a cup holder or something this comes out really easy it just pops out there's it's not screwed or any, screwed in or anything so you can get in there or you know your hand can fit up here better and then I'll just show you how this worked out I'm gonna have to put my camera on a tripod again uh, three eighths for these and pretty much everything else that we're gonna be doing is with the 9 16 uh, bolt remover or ratchet whatever you want to call it so okay let me get set up so that's the initial stages remove that cable and uh, get the four bolts out of here Okay, as I said, we've got the four bolts out of here. Now this thing, just kind of flex it. I pull forward, flex it, it'll come loose. And hopefully you can see this. Just kind of move this over to the to the larger opening here. And just kind of push down on it just to flex this a bit. I mean, don't get too crazy or else you'll break it, but there we go. I got that off, so I'm going to get this stuff out of the way and we'll move on to the next step here. But yeah, that worked really, really well. And as you can see, this is where the, the four bolts went in. Uh, there, 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 and there. So we have this off, so that's awesome. All right, so the next step here, we have our 9 sixteenths. We need to remove these uh, springs. And uh, just, uh, I'll speed this up, but. Okay, so that's that step. Okay, so we moved from there. Now we're coming over here. Now these two bolts that I'm going to remove, they're actually not physically holding on the fender assembly, but when you lift this up, they're gonna get in the way. I can tell right now, I'm just looking. So at the minimum, I'm gonna take out this, these two here. I'll do the same on the other side. Oh, FYI, I decided to remove all three bolts on each side, just so you know. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the other side, but that's what I'm doing. That way, there's not going to be an issue, so let's move forward. Okay, um, now we're, just so you know where we are, now we're under here, just above the deck, and just below the fender, there's a, a nut here. Now this one, 
It has a bolt attached to it, which I'm going to guess will probably drop down once we undo it. And so there's one on each side. We'll do this one here. And as you can tell, I'm having trouble actually filming this. So just so you know, it's a bracket, and this the one. It's the the nut that goes on into the frame. Um, there's also the brace here that goes under the fender. Don't worry about that. There's one here, but get the one that goes into the frame because then the whole unit will come off. So I'm going to do this one, and you'll have to repeat that on the other side. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to turn the recording off, and I'll just get these two out, this side and the other side, okay? Okay, so I just removed that, and this is what it looks like. So uh, just so you know, <laughs> in case it dropped out and you can't find it, but that's what you're looking for. So let's go to the other side. I'm not going to film that. I'll take out the one on the other side on the uh, lower footrest fender here. Okay, so we're at the final stage now. Remember, I'm going to have to take off this gas cap. I left that on until the end to help prevent stuff getting in there. Set that aside. Zoom out here for you. And let's see. Let's see if we can get this fender assembly off. Look at that folks, I know we might not be able to see it all, but she's coming off. Alright. Woo! There it is. Here's the cap for the gas tank. Put that back on now, because you don't want dirt to go in there. Okay, folks, I'm going to determine uh, where exactly is this tank leaking. Now, I believe it is leaking along one of the seams here. Um, because whenever I fill it up and the gas gets above this seam, it seems to leak. And more so, if it's on, did some tests, if I'm on like a bit of an angle on the ground, it seems to be leaking out of this side. And if you notice, it's actually much... Looks like it's pretty clean here, so something's probably happening here. The rest is very dirty, but um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up the tank to get the, the gas level above this seam, and then we're just going to observe and we'll check all around the tank. Okay, so I got the gas line just above this seam, and you know, I, I'll do some testing, but it really... I don't know, it's pretty odd, like, well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I can actually pull this down, gas starts running out, so I don't know where it starts, but it's pretty much, yeah, I can almost feel that, it's, it feels like it's right in here, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to try to seal up this seam, and, uh, Go from there. I know uh, some videos they say, well, I'll use some JB Weld, that'll work, but I looked at a lot of videos and it just seems like JB Weld ends up failing in the end, especially on cracks. Maybe if it's a small pinhole, it'd be fine, but we're gonna we're gonna do some more drastic measures here and we'll get this. Yeah, I can I can feel that, so okay. So what I'm gonna do, uh well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise up the side of the lawn tractor so that the fuel is no longer at this seam. Um, you may have to drain some gas out of your lawn tractor, but I'm going to jack up the side of the lawn tractor and uh, go from there so it doesn't leak out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, if I pull down here, it just, it just runs out crazy, if you can see that. Okay, 
So uh, let's get uh, things set up here and we'll uh, we'll seal this up. So basically what I've done at this point, I've carefully checked all around the tank. I didn't want to remove any of the dirt because the dirt uh, would be a great indicator. It will start getting wet if there's any leaks. So I didn't find any other leaks. And it's pretty much limited to right in this area. And as I said before, I can actually... I can feel that separate right in here. So we're going to fix that up for sure. Okay, so here's a good uh, test here if you want to really figure out exactly where this is leaking. Um, I have a piece of um, just like tuck tape, but it's really sticky stuff. Now the cap on here, it has a vent on it. So I want to plug that vent up, right? So let's plug that up really good. And I'm going to, now that that vent's plugged, I'm going to zoom in on the area that I believe is leaking. And what I'm going to do is put some soapy water on there, then push on the tank. And we should be able to see some bubbles form, which will help confirm, you know, what is going on here. So just put some soapy water on here. And I'm going to push on the tank. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that. But as far as I can tell, it's right here. Okay, so I have some, I didn't find sandpaper, but I have this really coarse uh, cloth material. So I'm gonna rub this down. It will roughen it up. Get that on both sides. It's gonna be two steps here. We're gonna hot solder this, and then we're going to stabilize it using JB, JB Weld. Uh, the JB Weld is not going to be what's sealing the gas, but it's going to stabilize the area that we're going to fix here. Okay, so that's uh, looking pretty good. And all we need now, we need to clean off any, any goop. It's just brake cleaner. Get that cleaned up. Give it a little bit more. Okay, a little more spray, and I think we'll be good to go. I'll wipe that with the uh, paper towel. I know the area now, I can feel it. So we'll go in, I'll show you how to uh, solder that together and then we'll uh, finalize it with some JB Weld. Okay, so I have this all cleaned up here, and I kind of marked where I thought the leak was happening. And, you know, don't use an open flame on a fuel tank, but what we're going to do, going to try and melt this over. I'm just going to bring down the seam, this little lip here. Okay, so we're going to let this cool off for a second here. I'm going to come back with some soapy water again. I think that's probably good. And we'll come back with some soapy water, see what's happened. And if it looks good, we'll firm it up with some uh, JB Weld just to stabilize everything. Um, I don't know, hopefully, I think this will, I think this will be good. All right. Okay, just a final test here. 
Now, I don't see anything. Okay, so that's good. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just using brake cleaner again. Get all this garbage off of here. So basically the hole has been sealed. And what I want to do now, I'm going to use some just uh, original JV Weld. I'll get that out. And we're going to put a bead across here. I'll show you how to do that so that it actually um, will, you know, really help and help, uh, I guess, basically stabilize the whole area. So hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we stabilize this area with JB Weld, again, JB Weld is not going to cure this problem of the leak because it will probably leak again. You need to seal it. But what we're gonna do, this is a blue uh, tuck tape, and I'm gonna cut off a segment here, an inch on each side. Um, fit it up underneath, but look underneath the seam, but don't come up around yet. You want to just fit it up underneath there. And we're just going to let it rest like this. And then once I put the JB Weld, because what I want to do with the JB Weld is put it underneath, over top, and then I'm going to take the tape and wrap it around and it's going to form a nice bead in here. It's just going to stabilize the whole area. You'll see what it uh, what it looks like once we get going here. Okay. Okay. For this, I'm using the uh, JB Weld. JB Weld. Um, it's the quick set stuff. I mean, you have to use this up in about I don't know. It's, it's basically it's like five minute epoxy. So let's get this roll in here. I'm just using a container here. Put equal parts in. That should be good there. And voila, this is gonna set up really quick. And again, it doesn't have to fight with the fuel or anything because we have it sealed. So it's basically, it's just gonna be like a, I don't know, just like a support. for the, for the uh, repair that we did. So let's get this mixed up. Uh, just like that. And then don't, when you bring it up around, don't like pull it hard. Just be, be very gentle. Bring it up around. Roll it over. And don't don't go crazy. Just, you're just setting it in there in place. Smooth it out nice. Because you don't want to push all the epoxy out of the areas. You want a nice bead in there. There we go. So that's the... Uh, that's all there is to it. So, I don't know, I'm gonna clean this thing up. If you wanna stick around, we'll do some cleaning. But that's how you seal up your tank. Gonna work fine. All right, everyone, let's finish this thing up. Looks like it's all good and sealed. So, let's, uh, since it's all apart, might as well uh, clean her up. Let's go. Okay, I got it all cleaned up. Uh, 
Yeah, it did a lot of pressure washing. Here's the tank. There's the repair. There's no indications of fuel. No smell at all. Something to check. Cleaned up the uh, transmission and uh, all the moving parts under there. It's awesome. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. So let's get this thing all, uh, you know, put together. And okay, and as I said, before you put everything together, um, I have some of this, uh, what is it? Uh, rust cure. I don't know, whatever. I'm just saying, spray everything down and, um, you know, it's going to protect everything from rust and, uh, in the future, if you need to take it apart or someone else, you're going to be, uh, you're going to appreciate it. You'll appreciate it. They'll appreciate it. Whoever's going to appreciate it because you know what? It's going to come out and things aren't going to be all rusty and jammed up. Okay. On the battery terminals, I clean them up really good. Give them a little spray with, uh, I don't know, I'm using this stuff, whatever it is. There, that's all you need to do. And then down here, there's some linkages. I'm just gonna give it really a little, little tiny spray. Okay, that's all. Okay, and while we're at this uh, whole endeavor, I checked out the uh, tire pressure. These small front tires, they're um, about 15 PSI is what should be in them, so I topped those up. The rear tires, although they're bigger, they're actually a lower pressure, about 10 PSI. So, I don't know, check out your tires. Everything looking good. Okay, so let's get this fender back on. I have a helper here today, so it should be easier. Okay, just a heads up, uh, we put the fender on here, but uh, make sure the cabling is up, you know, under, you know, up here. And let's go ahead, I mean, this is where we, where we kind of started. So put it back into place. There we go. They just snap in, very easy. And uh, let's get that back into place. Very important to put this back, or else, uh, you know, you're going to have trouble with your lawn tractor. So we're all set there. That's how it should work. And let's go ahead. Next step, let's put the springs back into place so the seat uh, sits properly. And away we go. All right, let's put in the uh, springs here. We have the switch hooked up. We can put the seat down, so all's good. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, everyone, I kind of, I, you know, I finished this, the majority of this video two days ago, but I got really, really, uh, PO'd because my camera failed. Then I went and got my other camera and, uh, yeah, it wouldn't focus on anything. And I kind of basically left off. I, cu I couldn't continue filming, but that's okay. Fine, fine, fine. So basically we just left off. We hooked up the harness. We put the seat springs back in. And then basically I just maneuvered this cover into place. 
there were the four screws those are back in and then we also on each side we removed this nut this one I think I did all three on each side that was just so we could pull the uh, fender up without hitting anything so put those back in no big deal I don't know why I got so upset about things but anyways then the final thing was the uh, bracket not on each side so you know just put those back into place and everything's good and so I guess on the plus side I'm just on the follow-up I um, I checked the tank I no longer have a terrible smell of gasoline which I always had before and uh, I put my hand up underneath the fender where I sealed that it's totally dry so it's looking good folks so you can do it I did it you can do it so take care please like subscribe come back for more because you know I really depend on your support so thank you very much for for watching the video okay bye bye